the Malaysian capital. So four matches down, three in the morning session we saw. And that mixed doubles quarterfinal with Deshapon Sapsiri coming through in straight games over new on the scene. To and Chen. So Kenta Nishimoto, who put in a terrific effort yesterday against Jonathan Christie, features in this section of the draw. He faces Victor Axelson, fresh from a walkover in round two. That match is right here in a couple of hours' time and will help determine the lineup in the semi finals. But first, Kenta, Kenta Sumiyama Japan. and Anthony Ginting will grace us with their presence for this quarter final. There is Sunayama. He's back up to number 10 Anthony in the world rankings. It's been a terrific couple of years for him to fight to get back up there into the top 10. And our Olympic bronze medalist in 2020. Umpire played in Lee 21, Wong, of course, Malaysia. Anthony Ginting. Five titles on the world one. tour to his name, including two last year. Singapore Open and the Hilo Open. End of the year with that World Tour Finals final loss to Victor Axelsson, not too many weeks ago. Please come here for the toss. I have red and black. What do you choose? Red, black for you. You want the toss? Well, there's two all in the head-to-head. -head. Fascinating head-to-head. -head. Okay, good luck to both of you. All four of those meetings have been at major or continental championships. So pretty important stuff that these two have met before. Pretty important matches that they've faced each other. Never has it gone to a deciding game. That's another little fact. And it was Ginting that won the last time out. Straight games, of course, in the round of the 16 during the Olympic Games in Tokyo. The first two encounters, that's nine years ago, as juniors. Yes. Yes, uh, Asian champs and uh, World Junior fight, World Junior Championships, was it? Something like that? Uh, yeah. Memory serves from last night's uh, digging into the stats. Here is Kenta Sumiyama, about five foot eight from Saga in Japan. He's 26 now. And, he's, and as I said, he first made it into the top ten. Back in 2019, and recently he's got back up to rank number 10. And he's been through a couple of tough battles this week, round one. It was a very strange game. Lost to three, won to five. And it was all about that first and deciding game, 23-21 against Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong. Drifty conditions out here. And then Chiao Tian Chen, a terrific result yesterday in straight games for him. Anthony Ginting is the same age at 26, around five foot seven in height. World rank number four, his highest rank is going back a couple of years now, somewhere in 2020, where he's up at rank three for about a month. And he's played more badminton this week. Round one against Nkarlong Angus. We had here on court number one, 21-12 in the third deciding game in over an hour. Ready to play. In yesterday's match against Anders Antonsen from Denmark. Also went the distance, 21-17. There's Lin Ho Huang from Malaysia, our umpire and the service judge. Crystal Tan from Malaysia. So yes, considering they've played their together just four times, but over a period of ten years, can we really take much from that head-to-head -head steam? I, I don't think we can use the uh, two encounters from 2014 to anything. Um, 19 and 20, that's, that's before the pandemic. Um, I, think, I think we can 
use it to predict Ladies and gentlemen and even match on my right Anthony Sinisuka Ginty Indonesia I was about to say, you're putting your neck on the line again, Steve, here today. Which is uh, always nice to hear. I, I don't know uh, if it's going to be an even match, but I think um, Ginting has, has looked in um, an okay form in the first two matches. Um, without being sort of extraordinary. So um, it's over. One lap. But it's uh, good playing conditions normally for him uh, with a little bit of uh, drift. Um, I think one of the stories here in the men's singles is um, three Japanese players in the uh, quarterfinals and all, and that's not true, but two of them playing with a lot of energy. And determination, both uh, Kanta Sunyama so and Kanta Nishimoto. The reason I'm running through Kodai Naroka is because he seems he seems like he's tired. Um, he's played a lot. He's had a, a bit of an injury. Uh, Kodai Naroka was playing on the adjacent court. But normally he would also have this energetic um, um, attitude on court, which I think is intimidating for a lot of opponents at the moment. Yeah, it worked yesterday. Uh, you and I called that match against uh, Nishimoto against uh, Jonathan Christie. And from the very start, he threw everything but the kitchen sink at the Indonesian. It's fair to say he used every ounce of energy come the end of the game, but it worked. He got through. Yeah, and, and um, it could be a bit of a style change, perhaps. Uh, a way for for the players that have no sort of um, um, big attack. But if they're there all the time, if, they, if you feel that they're there, posing a pressure, biting uh, your heels all the time. So it's over. Two, oh. Always at you, never give you uh, a moment of peace and quiet to establish your game. Then you've suddenly raised the uh, overall pace of uh, men's single. Well, it's better viewing than the occasional match where we see Seven two over. very Three, two. low scores until they get into a third game. I mean, we saw... Yeah, but that, that's due to the playing conditions that have changed. Yeah. We, yeah. we know for a fact that um, uh, on day three here, the air condition, uh, the amount of air condition in the arena was reduced because the, the players sent in Victor Axelson to ask what had happened, whether they changed to a slow shuttle speed or what. And, um, so it's over. Three, four. Oh. Has raised the quality of the badminton here. Um, the players in, in the first two days they can then um, be a little bit sad that they didn't have the same opportunity. Yeah, we saw a few seeds drop in well, in day one, let alone in day two as well. But it's one of the skills of the game, certainly at the moment anyway, having to combat those conditions. It's like a third player out on court. Um, the thing is that I mean, if everybody felt that it was okay conditions on day one and two, then there was no need to change them for day three. And if they felt that there was a need to change them, we should have changed them preferably ahead of day one. Yeah. Well, it's those kind of shots we didn't see on days one and two, where a punch clear would be backed up by an opponent's clear back. Good control there by uh, Tsunyama. Five, three. Having the confidence to hit deep into those rear corners, quite flat. Well, that one wasn't flat, but great length on the shuttle.
Wonderful backhand. Six, three. And he's quick on the shuttle. Sumiyama. And I think that's putting uh, some stress on uh, on Ginting, at least uh, playing the near side here. As the shot from Sumiyama arrives a split second earlier. Not as much as day one and two where it was um, extreme. It's gone long. Seven, three. Got a bit fortunate there, Suniyama. The shot came off the frame of the racket. But no reason for Ginting, who was in position to have missed the court. Yeah, nice shot. Nine, three. Took it early, kept it going in a downward direction, and Ginting misses the net. Both men, Steen, trying to take the initiative early in the rally. Yeah, because Ginting is being forced to try and take it, I think. Quality with the length, and this one not so much. Service over. Ten six. Sonyama was perfectly placed clear in terms of disrupting the footwork of the Japanese. Lovely technique with the smash as well, that short action scene. Yeah. So clearly momentum swing forced by uh, Ginting. Uh, three points the lead. The counter Suniyama at the mid-game interval, and interesting to hear what the coaches have to say.
11, it's play. Well, there were seven unanswered points in favour of Suniyama midway through that first half of game one. Ginting working hard to fight back. Now, it's perfect shots and yeah. it's kind of 50 50 at the moment he makes them and he looks great and then he misses them and yeah Sunny yeah. back in there's not enough marking on his um, on his shots but that's perhaps also because he knows that there's an energetic retriever on the other side and if he plays a little bit passive then there's an energetic yeah attacker not a natural attacker with a big smash or anything but one that keeps on going yeah ready to pick up any loose crumbs yeah of uh, Sunyama or the perceptive de defense of Sunyama that um, Ginting feels that he's got to play it very very close otherwise it's going to come back and he doesn't want it to come back Nishimoto yesterday played a style of energetic badminton but it wasn't so much the shot quality the winners it was the energy of his speed and athletic and wouldn't give up and yeah but it also depends i mean if, if you're ready to work hard with your feet and your legs and you uh, I mean the shot choice is the is sort of controlling what what uh, quality you need if your shot choice is a little bit more simple then you don't need as high quality because you can still survive That's a great play. Yep. And who's there? Sunyama. It's gone wrong. Yeah, it's been a great performance. 17 10. For the Japanese so far. Unfazed by the occasion, Ginting just looks a little bit nervous. Coach Erwin Shah. Will, as always, be giving everything to this man. Oh. 
Yeah, good lift. Bless him. Oh, the call was out. What did you call Steen? I missed it. Uh, I mean, oh. basically sitting outside the hall watching it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> my uh, my feeling was that it, it could have been in. I thought in the line judge said out, but right. we're miles away. We ha we have no chance of seeing it. Yeah. Yep. It, was, <laughs> it was indeed out. Yes, I'm hot. And a good call by the line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 11 17. Thank you, line judge. Anthony, maybe. Control below 70. net tape. Oh. Yeah, that was a oh. nice shot. Well, service over. The lead was quite confident 18. from Ginting. But an error in judgment, it seems. I thought Ginting's shot was nice, considering how much pressure he was under. Oh, oh fantastic shot. Sumiyama really growing in confidence. Steam. Having that ability to use such variation. Suniyama, you watch his feet in defence here. He's taking twice as many steps around the court as uh, Ginting with that extra little split he's got. Full of energy. And he's taking them quickly. Yep. And especially in the defensive movement, he de definitely matches uh, the pace of uh, Ginting. Yeah, he's quick off the mark. And he's been quick off the mark on the scoreboard in this game so far as well. Save here from Ginting. Grounded, but this time Tsuniyama perhaps didn't have to be so tight to the net. Still game point. And six at his disposal, Tsuniyama. Third time of asking game, the straight smash time, winner. Kenta Suniyama, 21, and Kenta Suniyama off to the races in this quarter final.
Anthony Ginting with plenty of work to do here. First game, So the change of ends for game two. Kenta Sinayama off to a superb start in the opener. Service over. One luck. And plenty of work for Anthony Ginting to do here. Good defense as well. And look how much he's got to work. Yeah, and sneaking team to score points. That was one shot too many. He got back uh, to the armor. Two, one. Great defense. And read that well. Oh, Ginting wise. So by playing faster, is it the speed of feet you mean, Steen, or, or taking the shuttle early, or both, or? Yeah, I think it's both. Being ready, re recovering quickly from out of positions, so you can uh, play the next one with uh, reasonably good quality. Look how quickly he's ready for the next shot. Sunyama. Three, one. I mean, this is um, this is a strong performance from. Uh, all the uh, Japanese men's singles team, but good for Sunyama. Um, it's knocked down a bit. And it's going to gain 7 8 ranking spots at least from this tournament again. Excellent play again. Four, one. Not getting down to it, Ginting. No, I mean the lift wasn't that short. It was short-ish. Good smash, but it was nowhere near the line. And yet Ginting, he didn't look like he was at all ready in defence. Oh, it's a 
superb. Absolutely perfect play by Tsuyama. Five, one. He's there early. And likes the variation where he held him and went back into the backhand corner. But look again where he lands. He's not afraid to unleash full power. There's other players whose full power is more than Tsuyama's, but he's not afraid to use it, and he's ready to follow up on the next one. And he's consistently playing in a high, high pace, and so far Ginting has not been able to um, follow that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, great work ethic. So far, Tsuyama. Confident for Ginting to see that there is a couple of mistakes as well yeah. from uh, Tsuyama's side. Well, he absolutely shredded the shuttle with that slice. And sent it out into the tram lines. Oh, no, that's right, yes. Yeah. Well spotted. Was, oh, there's a chance I can follow up, actually. And again, lock. Oh, wow, well, I keep going long. It's difficult to see from here. I'm going off the reaction of the player. Tsuniyama was pretty confidently leaving that shuttle. Well, no challenge. It looked dubious. Little more conservative, the play style in this rally. Punch clear long. Four, six. And Ginting going back to basics. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's got the um, stamina to play this way, Anthony Ginting. Oh, good shot over the top. Wonderful net. That was a good point for Ginting. Five, yep. six. Just, Rally was taking a bad direction, so uh, getting uh, a free one there was uh, absolutely important. Two point swing. Play. Oh, this one is long. Anthony, Sirisuka, Ginting, this time with the challenge. Out. Players are cut. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Just the one challenge Seven, remaining then for Anthony five. Ginting in this second game. 
play. It's interesting to see that Tsunayama and Shimoto are in such good shape here. Because they were not qualified for the World Tour Finals. And that means that um, they didn't have to play in order to December. Seven over. Ginting six, the final. Seven. Played some tough matches was in a tough group. Had a tough semi-final against Jonathan Christie and uh, lost the final to Axis. Um, so perhaps it has uh, benefited uh, Tonyama and uh, Nishimoto. They've been able to uh, boost their form. Seven we know that over. they played the uh, All Japan Eight, Championships here six. two weeks ago. Where Kento Momota won the title. Kurai Haruka withdrew. In the tournament due to um, a small injury, so he hasn't been able to practice that much. Kurenaroka, but Tsunayama and Nishimoto looks like they've been doing some really, really good practice. And are ready for these um, January World Tour tournaments. Yeah, they seem to have used their time well. Whatever they've been doing, but just like the first over. game where Tsunayama was eight. leading 9-3. I feel that Ginting is about to uh, change the momentum here. He didn't really um, succeed totally in, in the first game, but um, he needs to be able to do it here if he wants to stay on in the tournament. That's well played. It's all. Six of the last eight points for Anthony Ginting. Excellent play there. Yep. Nine, eight. Great net shot. And dispatches the cross smash perfectly. Tsunayama, a total neutralizing over. shot. Nine, oh. Good clear from Ginting, just rack it to it and play a drop shot well inside the court. And how can you continue attacking on a shot like that? You can't. Yeah, wonderful from Tsunayama, taking that as early as possible. I think we've seen a lot more mistakes on the far back line than the uh, near one here. Good deception, perfect play. Yeah, he's looking pretty relaxed. Perhaps for the first time in the match. That first backhand, that layoff, and then this. Great shot from Ginting. Six two down he was, he's back in front. That's eleven nine in game two. <laughs> Eleven by play.
Well, let's try and answer that question of how much stamina does Anthony Ginting have. The last few points there, he looked to have sort of burned off a lot of nervous energy. And he's now starting to enjoy his shots a bit more. The thing is, he needs to play this level consistently. And, um, I thought that uh, after the um, smash error from uh, Sumiyama at 6-4, he uh, made a couple of errors and Thank was a little you. bit off his game. And that helped Ginton get back into the match, but he needs to play at um, a bit higher pace and be able to do it consistently. There's not going to be a lot of chances to put pressure on uh, Sunyama, so it's going to be step by step making the uh, possibility bigger. Good shot. Ginting oh. out, stretch, plays a great net, and what a finish. Seven over. Wow. And you've got that shot there in the backhand side, Ginting. You could almost see him licking his lips <laughs> exactly where he wanted it. Yeah, the quality with the net shot from that deep lunge position was great. Uh, he, he's got fantastic uh, net game, Ginting uh, saw it yesterday when he uh, defeated Anas Antonsen in a long, long match, and Antonsen suggested that he just took the net down and took it back home with him. <laughs> and the positive thing for Ginty now is that he's also getting uh, a few extra of these mistakes from um, Sunyama now. Yeah, what a leave. And another, oh, he's played it. That looked to have been going out wide. Good save from Sinyama. Oh, he's gone for the wrong option there, I think. The deceptions are working well, this has gone wide. The deceptions are helping Ginting. Seven over. Yeah, Sinyama tried to match him with one halfway through that rally when he could have taken the shuttle earlier. And Ginting really well read. Stays on top of the rally. Just gone wide, another challenge from Ginting. Out. Service judge was quick to react. Suggests a confident call. But we'll ask Hawkeye to confirm anyway. Players are cut. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. 12.30. No challenges remaining. That's correct. For Ginting. Yeah, well spot 15, sorry. Uh, he's used up both of his challenges and got them wrong. At least in this second game, anyway. Well oh, what a shot. Found the line, Tsunayama. 30 all.
is a putt. So the momentum shifted this way and that throughout game two. I think Ginton really going to grit his teeth now. Because uh, Tsunyama, he can see the goal line. And um, I don't think Ginton can afford to let um, Tsunyama get a couple of points ahead. A real test of his nerve, Anthony Ginting. Well, that's oh. a fantastic shot. Wow, look where Ginting is positioned. 13, 13. He's on his way back. He was looking for anything up that forehand side, wasn't he? Please. It's hard to say from that replay, but... Good skill and good pace as well. Oh, he hasn't got any challenges he left. He hasn't got any challenges. 20, 30. It's devastating. Ginting. Yeah, that was actually very close. Closer than the two challenges he's effectively wasted. One of the things that... Um, oh, it is yeah. it. That would have been a third waste challenge. It seemed to go out and come back, didn't it? Um, one of the things Tsunyama has done extremely well been defending the attack from Ginting when Ginting is moving backwards. So got really, really good grip on uh, those shots. So when he gets in the air, Ginting, that's when he's had his uh, options, but the net game has been totally taken away from, um, from Ginting. There's been almost no net game here. It's a brilliant um, tactical and physical uh, display once again from uh, Tsunyama. Yeah, Sinayama taking that shuttle early and keeping Ginting on the run. Like this, that was a fine example. Yeah. Because you see that Ginting is, is definitely not in his best yeah. uh, in this tournament here. Um, and understandably, so no, no player can be at their best throughout a full season. No, and I was going to, uh, well, I guess the best word to use is argue with your point earlier about those World Tour finals. It's almost a month ago, and I was wondering whether the exertion spent that far ago would have the impact theme, but, but is it that when you're out there competing in a different country, you're not at home in your comfort zone and training and improving? Competing, so you, you can't do the same things in practice. I think maybe there's a good chance that uh, a lot of the players are coming off a uh, tough 80, training uh, period or maybe still are in it. Uh, because uh, basically, uh, this period here in the, in the spring is the uh, only possible period uh, for the end of the Olympics. 2024 from now on or from basically May when they start this human uh, qualification it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, it's tough going and Kenta Suniyama is starting to zero in his sights firmly set now on these semi-finals six points the lead yeah, it's seven consecutive. He was down 12, 12 13, wasn't he? Yep. Or even more, perhaps. Uh, nine, in fact. 13 Cons 9. No, no, nine consecutive ah, points okay. for Kenta Suniyama after those missed challenges and the one he was unable to challenge. Kenta finds a winner here, however.
Well, he needs something special now. Anthony Ginting to have any chance left in this match and, of course, in the tournament. Yeah, he, he probably needs a breakdown from um, Tsunyama. Yeah. Which is looking very unlikely. Sure. Good save. Where is the shot yeah! coming from? Yeah! Look at the emotion on Kansas City Twenty match points for teams. And a match point, six in the bank for Kanta Suniyama who is homing in on a place in that semi-final, which will be against either Victor Axelsson or an impressive performance yesterday by Kenta Nishimoto. Can Ginting do the unthinkable and come back here? Well, he's trying his best. It's gone wide from Suniyama. Seventh over. 15, 20. Let's see if that's inside the line, then Ginting is not getting to it. Last smash. No, at six points, it was worth the aggressive shot to try and find that perfect winner. And let's hope for Suniyama's stake, he can keep his composure here. Please. net but the lift had quality oh. oh unbelievable still Siniyama survives with Ginting straight smash winner gives him hope Well, the, the guts with that deception at the net from Suniyama, it didn't pay off this time. But you can see what kind of mood he's in. And Ginting keeping his wits about him. Yeah, that was well done. Yep. It's perhaps also playing a little bit extra freely at the moment. Realizing that most likely this match is gone. Oh, lovely shot. Ginting survives. One more time. Yeah. He's done it. Look at the celebrations. The lap of honor, he's got plenty of energy left. I think he has to pay royalties to Anas Rasmussen for that uh, <laughs> leap of honor there. A very respectful congratulations from Anthony Ginting. Thanks, 
fight back. Fantas Sunyama. A terrific 21, defensive 14, fight back at the end. 16. But with this straight smash winner, Kanta Suniyama takes his place in the semi finals. A terrific performance. And huge smiles on the face, always great to see. Straight games the win, 50 minutes it took for Kanta Suniyama to come through 21 14, 21 16. Plenty more badminton action to come. Don't go anywhere. Zheng and Zhang up against an eager French pair of Jiquel and Del Rue with Jill Clark and Steen Patterson. Welcome back to Kuala Lumpur. We're here for the Patronus Malaysia Open, the first of the HSBC BWF World Tour events for 2023. What a super men's singles we've just witnessed. Well, next up, we have the three-time defending champions, who also happen to be three-time and reigning world champions, Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong. 